Hey, hello everybody, it's Ultranum here and we are back in the Library of Ruina. Last episode was pretty short, so I decided maybe we should upload another one and beat another enemy. We'll go for the second one right now. So what does it use? Book of Oswai Session 6 and Book of the Distortion. Alright. Let's send it. Wow, she looks really freaky. It appears that we have a new worshipper. What concerns have brought you here to our oratory? Oratory. Worshipper 1. I don't think I can continue living in the city anymore. It's too much for me. What could have overwhelmed you so much? Everything is so dreary. And so is my life. I wake up at 6 in the morning, I go to work by 8 and do the same work in, with the same face every single day. By the time I leave work, it's already 10 in the evening. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. I have so many expenses to cover every single month, I can't seem to get any richer. Everyone I see during my commute has the same face. I don't see why we work, why we earn money, or why we live. I feel like I've lost my goal, my purpose. I am just like a cogwheel. Yeah, I really am. I'm living like a cog in the machine. Even if I ever gone, the city would soon find another cog to replace me. What am I? Why does my voice lie? I understand that feeling. Everyone in the city is like a gear spinning along without a purpose. Staying in the middle of it wears out you slowly. You're right, I really feel like that. However, is it necessarily a bad thing to be a gear? Huh? All problems stem from the refusal to admit to the fact that we are indeed givers ourselves. I did too once. After my father f passed away, I lost my way for a while. You see, my father lived his life akin to a gearwheel. He'd always wake up at the same hour, do go to the same place, and come home at the same time with the same face. My father did research for on gears. His goal was to solve the same type of problems you're going through. Perhaps he not only grew to resemble one single object he studied for so long. The wrinkles on his forehead deepened as he walked, they resembled the teeth of a gear. My father lived out his whole life as a rusted gear of the city, until he was murdered by someone else. By someone else. Oh. Then one day, I came across a thought. Maybe we really are gears that constitute the city. Maybe our suffering comes from trying to deny our own identity. But that kind of life is pointless. I'm tired of being a purposeless cog that keeps grinding day by day. Exactly. The problem is that you see yourself as an aimless gear. You mean gears can have a purpose? Yes, of course they can. All we need to do is find the purpose we were born to mesh with. You shall become a unique gear that cannot be replaced by any other. We are all gears. There are simply so many gears in the world wallowing in sadness for they have yet to know where and how to be. That's... It's still hard to believe that... Take a look at all the people gathered here. Do they have the same faces as the ones you've seen in your everyday life? No, they all look happy. Please, trust in me. Yes, this is the only way I have. Now come up here, I will give you the purpose in life you're looking for. Do I sit in this chair? Yes, take a seat and relax. The chair will tell you what kind of gear you are. This looks like a murder machine. This is a murder machine. This will murder him. I am telling you that much. I see this image and I know the guy is dead. Is this really safe? Yeah, of course it is. Oh my, you turned out to be a thought gear. A thought gear? It is exceedingly right to, for one to be bestowed with the purpose of a thought gear, you see? They are helping me even now. For your information, my father was as also a thought gear. That means those gears in the back of the head are... This one is my father. He always provides me with this wisdom about life. Besides, mid-gears need to keep company with at least one thought gear. Wait, am I really going to turn into a gear? The pain is only temporary. It will soon be followed with pure fulfillment. Everyone, let us welcome the honorable and invaluable arrival of a new sword gear. I fucking told you. I knew it. I knew he will die. The guy is dead. Wait, wait! I didn't know this would happen. What the fuck is that noise?
<laughs> I'm so scared. It's a gear's turn. So too, is, does, so too does life fulfill cycle. So that's Aileen, cult leader of the Church of Gears. I've seen all kinds of gears in my life, but sword gears are new to me. This might be the rumored ritual of theirs. They get smarter by plugging gears on the back of their heads, apparently. That's a lot of horseshit. Alright, let's see. Director Eugen from the Shear Association asks us to kill 10 worshippers of the church, neutralize its leader and secure her. I didn't quite expect the director of Shear Association Section 2 to personally give our office a request. Something strange might be up. How long are we going to see sit and watch it? Can we start shooting now? Wait for my sign. Ah, what a beautiful sword gear you have become. I will give you the honor of accompanying me. <laughs> you shall soon understand how happy it is uh, to be a gear with a purpose. Yes, it may, it may take some time to adjust. Let us start with turning bit by bit. Good. Along with the others, gently rotate. One cycle at a time. My father will gladly help you out. See? It does make you feel happy, doesn't it? I'm very glad to know you are happy. My dear followers, today another lost gear has found its way to happiness. Praise be to father. Praise be. Huh? What do you mean, be careful? No. What? What is going on? The gears, the poor gears. Please don't do this, whoever you are, please leave us alone. We simply wanted to live a happy life following our destined purposes. God, why is this super religious so hard to hit? She doesn't seem to be dodging the bullets with her, with her reflexes. It's as if something else is predicting the, tra the trajectories for her. Those sword gears on her head are spilling like crazy. Damn it, this sucks. We paid an arm and a leg for these bullets. Tamaki, think we can read the movement pattern of those gears? Can do. <laughs> He'll just shot her to death. I see. Okay. Grace her shoulder. I'll finish her off. A bullet created by Ultra Logic. Why? Those are some expensive bullets you have over there, don't you, friends? The blue rib vibration. This guy, I saw him in the trailer for the game. You are... Ah, uh, could you be the person my father always talked about? Mm, I guess. Say, I need you right now. Would you like to come with me? Yes, of course. I've been waiting for you my whole life. A perfect fit with the gear that is me. Why, thank you. No, you don't. But first, these friends need some attention. Pluto, could you look after Alien in the meantime? Run! The hell is going on? Why would the blue vibration be here? No idea. Damn it, it looks like he's trying to kill us. If we screw this job up, we are going to be bankrupt from all the bullets we wasted. You literally just saw the blue vibration deflect our bullets. We are no match for him in, in any way. Forget about anything else. We should run away and serve away for now. We are almost to the exit. Hiya, friends. Who could have made such an adorable little quest, I wonder? Oh hell, to the left. Ah, you're not getting anywhere with your sluggish feet, don't you see? Unless a lifeline were to come down from the heavens in the, the snow. Damn it, we, maybe we should drop our guns. Are you nuts? The, these were hell expensive. We're never throwing them away. But we can't hide forever either. Levi, this is... What's that, an invitation? From the library or whatever, heard the honey designated as an urban plague now. Oh, look at you, all crosses together in the corner. You're like a flock of cute little chicks gathered around in the cold. Blue, re blue reverberation. We apologize if we interrupted your business. We promised to forget about anything we've seen and heard here. So could you let us go? What? <laughs> okay, under one condition. Can you tell me who gave you this request? I'll give you 10 seconds. 9... Yeah, whatever. 
Levei, do something with the invitation thing. Six. Anyone got a pen? We need something to sign the paper with... Ah, uh, you can use mine. Take your time now. Four. Crazy bastard. <laughs> Quick, sign your names here. Three. No. The real Sean is on the beginning. Wouldn't you agree? But of course. <laughs> wow, that was an interesting moment. I like the blue guy a lot. The blue vibration. That knife sounds familiar to, to the red mist. You got that right. Both of them are top grade fixtures that reverb received a color from the Han Association. They are cut about grade 1. It's curious that such a capable fixer showed up so early. There are a lot of nut cases among fixers, but the blue vibration is on a whole other level. He's a certified lunatic. Is he famous? Oh, he is. He certainly got skills even his bunkers. He does appear to be skilled, seeing how he blocks those gunshots. That's why guns aren't used too often. They're not very effective against sexually competent opponents. Ah. The common enemy trope where no guns are effective because swords are better. Of course, why not? Now that you mention it, the majority of guests we We've had so far didn't carry firearms. Is there any other reason guns aren't used? It's the cost. They're awfully expensive. It's just not worth it most of the time. Guns are pricey on their own, but bullets are plain ridiculous, like those poor folks said. Manufacturing bullets must be quite costly. That's true, of course. The biggest factor, though, is that exit that the head li lift on firearms. It depends on the gun, but two full magazines worth of bullets cost almost the same as a decent gun. Heck, given your entire office crew documentation procedures is probably cheaper than keeping enough bullets in stock for them to use. The cost is so high it outweighs the benefit by a magic ton, and it's so hard to, uh, to find a workshop that treats guns or bullets. What's more, workshops aren't even allowed to craft those without a firearms manufacturing license, which is apparently very tricky to get. What do you think the reason firearms are, are made so inaccessible? This is just my hunch, but I think they don't want killings to happen too easily. Killing what? People in general. I didn't quite expect the rules of the city to be humanitarians. Oh, not because the head in the city are very human life or anything, obviously. It seems like they have this weird philosophy that the process of a human killing another shouldn't be trivial or insignificant. How funny. This can be pl plenty significant, even with some guns. Well, you aren't around here. Phew, he's not following us all the way here. It's as some, it's as, it's as if some. Un I hate everything about this language. There's this button call. It says skip on it. I never used it before this. So, okay, what I'm getting here is that it is a one-on-one -on -one against fucking guns. So we must use our fists, swords, and whatever this is against guns. Well, let's try this out. Going for bullseye. 6 to 20! What is this crap? And I am weak to piercing damage. Well, Emma isn't. But on this. How do I even do that? We can use commandeering, probably. It's the fancy taking her. I hate TQC. Let's try for a rampage. And we'll use scratch that on. Tamaki. No, no, I want you to clash here. Please. Thank you. And we can add a losing up on Stefan. Also, nobody is... Even anything on... Oh, I can't... Alright, let's see. Well, that's not fair at all. What is this? <laughs> they use guns! How am I supposed to beat it? Roland is almost dead already. Hmm, he's using a melee attack. Alright. 
melee attacks are much more manageable. Let's use this here. And will I can't oh my god. I have nothing to use. Well this is very very not good. Let's try something. Right, Roland's for sure dead. Right? Oh nobody's taking him now. That means he isn't dead. Not that it will mean anything for us, but still. Oh nobody's taking Roland. So I will Oh Right Okay. Going for Buzay. We don't have a to yours. How do I beat this? Well, let's try something at least. Oh, everyone's taking her. How perfect. And by that I mean how absolutely awful and atrocious. We'll get some more light. No, 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 you clash with her. <laughs> Two max damages on a gun attack. Why does this game hate me so much? Well, the sniper girl should be our top priority because she does like incredible damage. She's also staggered, so I don't know. Beyond the shadow. It is a very strong attack, by the way. I'm not sure if this will be enough, but we'll try it. Let's create that. And we'll just use everything we have to kill Tamaki now. Let's also do some damage to Stefan. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. We're sacrificing her basically. Oh no, she evaded both attacks. Interesting. And we started rolling high, alright. This might be a win. Oh, maybe I am jumping the gun here. But we will try, definitely. No, we don't have any pages left. Stop to life. All right, let's try for a shock and blow, and then we'll sacrifice Roland with this. Let's go. This did absolutely nothing, but we did some damage with Roland. All right. Please stagger him. No, he's not staggered. All right, this probably was. We don't have any pages left. How do I beat this? If they have guns and I don't. They also are really close to being staggered, but I certainly can stagger him. Um. Well. I have an idea here. How do I... Okay. We can try Fern Beats on her. So she is incredibly strong. Let's try this out. Yeah, it works. Alright, Fern Beats are... So cool, but she will die in two turns. We'll take this, kill him off. Oh, then we don't need to use this here, we'll ch use charge up. Let's go. 
Okay, I'm just crushing this now. Oh god. Seven beats are incredible. Curtain call for the reception of full stop office. Why do I get so such books? Well, anyway, the Stefan fellow turned into a book just as he expected. It's kinda sorry to see him keep railing at the vault at the end. Do you think it's wrong to blame the vault? Oh no, nothing wrong with that. It's not like I think he has a weak will. Uh, he was weak willed for putting the blame on his fault for his miseries. It's just that I pity myself for living in the same world. I'm sorry that it, I keep trying to not fault this world. I care this world. Same, to be honest. So let's burn some book, so, and stop this. Wow. We can get guns. That interests me greatly. Let's burn everything and then retry this. Tailoring. All right. Let's see what we can we do with our strategies. Let's see, can we... Let's go for Temek... For Temek is a Temek is page. Oh, we can only use ranged pages. Hmm. Can... Do we have enough of those? I'd say we do. big here so we shouldn't use this maybe we should get something different maybe the carnival's page with tailoring so we should look for something that gives us gives us light because for light is a lot light recover confirm so we have weight ups. Hmm. Let's go for outburst too. Alright. That's all. And let's see what can we add to this. Recovers HP, so why not? Range only, interesting. So we'll use cut in. And what pages did I use before? That way incredibly strong. I'll go for one retaliate. And let's go for a crush, probably. Because this is a very good cut of page, in my opinion. Alright, so let's try another one to get more books. Oh! I just realized that we are fatal and weak to this, so we should probably back off. And use this once again. Well, I am not too smart. Alright, he has only two, so we can outspeed him. We can inflict two fragile. Let's see. 
a commander and can manage it on the first turn, at least. Let's use yeah, let's use scratch that here. And we'll restore some light by hitting her, right? And do that once again. As much blood damage as we possibly can on Tamaki. So she dies first. That will be my strategy for this fight. Alright. Okay, we didn't get lucky at all. We aren't going to use possession just now. Let's go for more stagger damage. Wow, I'm almost staggered here. How did that happen? Let's use Scry Z. And we'll use. Oh no, we can. Okay, let's use Crush here and Shocking Blow here because this will do a lot of stagger damage. And damage in general, really. So. We can take Leway's attack on ourselves. And add a dirty blow here. What's up? Crash did not work. Wow, I am losing this much more than the previous one. We didn't even stagger her. Oh god. Let's try for crush. Alright, this is all we can do. So we can say goodbye to Roland pretty much. Oh, she staggered. That is good news. Crush does not work. Slash attacks. We'll just buff her up as much as we can. Squeeze it. And add a... Mm -mm -mm. We can add a destructive impact probably here. Nobody's taking her, by the way. We, so we probably should use the impact on Tamaki. Right. How did we do 14 fatal damage with max 3? How does this game work? I lost a whole 15 max damage on the way. Mm. Let's retaliate here. And the way is attacking her. So we can crush and charge up for more light. Here. And we'll do as much damage as possible to Stefan. Let's do it. Once again, until it fails me. Crush does some damage, charge up, and now we rampage. Dealing a lot less damage than I expected. Wow, this was not the best of outcomes. Let's try. Let's go to the destructive impact and shocking blow, both on the way. And we'll use this here. And add a fleet footsteps to the Stefan. Oh, that was a clash. I totally forgot, but that worked out well. Shock and blow, destructive impact. No damage at all. And Stefan isn't even staggered. Alright, let's try again. Endure. Creation and you're too slow. So we'll use Rampage here and loosen up on him. 
we don't have enough light for the last card. So this was a deflect. Rampage now. Stefan's. Alright. So that was one wasted leg. We don't even need to use anything now. This was a much more a much cleaner victory. But it was really intense at the start. I don't know why I use all the cards on the last turn because only one does the job. So four books, not the best. But we are probably done with this episode for now. And I thank you all so much for watching. And I see you around. Goodbye.